Well, now, uh, welcome again. We have had many problems uh, 23 minutes after. We are practically restarting the conversation. I have shared with you the Mentimeter, and I insist that if we don't have a, the Mentimeter, well, we can work without that because the, the technological tool is just to collect uh, vocabulary that contextualizes renewable energy or non-renewable energy for you. So please write it on the chat. If you cannot open the application, don't worry about that. Work on the chat, write three words that contextualize renewable energy to you uh, or non-renewable energy to, to, to you. So you can start. Renewable energy, these this, this three words. Non-renewable energy, these three words. And after that, we are going to listen to uh, the concept this is not working yeah the concept that the experts oscar fonseca and henry jesus are going to tell us so please we need first that you share with us your three words. So we obtain a sort of uh, basic information from you. And in that way, we have that um, context. Right? Right. Well, I see, I see I the chat. It. Well, Henry says non renewable. Hope, well, Vico says, uh, renewable, hope, environment, and peace. Uh, what do you say, people? Similar to Vico, renewable, in here, non-renewable, uh, Henry says, traditional, deleting, contaminating, oh, excellent. Sorry, now we have two positions, you see? One rather positive, the other rather negative. But uh, important, those are the impacts of this. Uh, uh, and the rest of the people, Andres, uh, Jana, Angela. Uh, what about uh, Miriam, Renato, Andres, Numpake, Angela. Hello. So Jose says, renewable energy, wind, sun, healthy. Diana Cristina Rios says, culture, ethno archaeology. Uh, non renewable pollution, sickness, contamination. You see? Very nice. And, uh, well, Andres. We are waiting for your words, Andres. Well, now that uh, we have uh, these uh, first words, we are going to listen to the concept uh, from uh, our expert in in the studio, we are in the, in the radio program in the studio, you see? And uh, let's see how we can work it out. Angel Alzate is uh, speaking, I think. What does she say? No, Angel Alzate, but it doesn't say anything. Apparently she's in here, but not in there. Well, Oscar. We listen to you. What is the difference between renewable and non-renewable energy? And uh, uh, because in many cases we speak, yeah, non-renewable and renewable, but uh, we don't really understand the difference. Okay, thanks. The main difference is in a, the main difference is in order to to way to get the energy and approach the energy. 
basically uh, non-renewable uh, energy is uh, obtained from fossil fuels or water or other different of, of, of energies from a, from a additional process in order to, to produce the refine and transforming the primary energy uh, materials or chemical or uh, fossil fuel. Uh, renewable, renewable energy is a, is a natural way uh, of energy without emissions, without emissions, uh, at least of the direct, uh, direct uh, producing of, of main matching sets. And uh, the difference is the type of infrastructure. The difference is the technical process to get and to administrate and an engineering process to produce the, this energy. And uh, the main difference now is very important is uh, the non emissions uh, and contamination and the interferences with environment and uh, technical process um, uh, are, are, uh, are uh, are determined according with the new development of technical engineering issues. Angela Sáenz, Vico, Diana. Hello. Hi. Hi. Biko, are you speaking? Tell us, please. No, I'm not speaking. I'm not hearing anything. The, the call is broken. Because it's like, well, it's like uh, someone tell us about a thing and he it's high i can hear him oh well you cannot listen very well uh, should i repeat the question what's your position uh, in favor of renewable or in favor of non-renewable sources of energy uh, what do you know about that andres what do you say, Geronimo? What do you say, Laura? Ah, okay, okay. Is a is a free question. Um, I search about this team in this moment, and I can see that the rene rene renewable energies is it's energy to produce the natural produce. Um, yes, I think because 
but no is as is as artificial process but it's a chemical process too like fungi like fungi kingdom i mean here you say something uh, in the in the comments you relate non renewable sources of energy to the climate crisis that's what you said Well, again, think, again, again, please. Yeah, that's true. In the comment, you said, you said that uh, non-renewable sources of energy cause uh, climate crisis. How can we prevent this climate crisis to happen? Uh, well, I can hear you very well, uh, <laughs> and I I don't understand you. Um, I I I hear I I think that I hear that you say me something with non -ren renewables yeah. energy, but I just. Uh, talk about renewable energies. Um, yeah, in, but in your, in your comment, you said that non renewable sources of energy are related or connected to the climate crisis. Why? Ah, ah, yeah. ah, yes, I got it. Okay. Mm. Okay, now the climatic crisis is like it's more like uh, consequences for a deep reason is the relationship the human with the uh, others, others like nature, like animals. I think uh, for the uh, past. If you uh, see for a moment the past for the hum uh, of the hum humans and animals, um, the relationship is the is a kind of uh, equality uh, height. I think. Okay, is okay. is my idea? I don't know. No problem. Thanks, uh, Diana, for your participation. I don't know if uh, Henry is still here. Uh, what about uh, uh, Laura, who is having a coffee? I noticed Laura is having a coffee. Laura, what do you have to say about renewable or non-renewable sources of energy? What, for example, if we say renewable sources of energy, what do you think of? What elements or how can we uh, produce energy without being polluting uh, in the environment? Laura? Is there any Laura here? Hello? Nico, what do you say? Laura Hi. isn't here. Hi. Hello, Vico, tell us. I would like to say that uh, you can find as humans beings different sources of energy everywhere. So the question is, why are you seeing energy that uh, can cause damage to our environment if we have a lot of energy, a lot of sources of energy? The idea is we want to, to say we want to protect our, our resources, our nature, our environment, it will be to protect also our energy, the sources of our energy. So uh, you can find energy in different ways around the world. So we need to be a little more conscious about that uh, kind of energy that we are using and try to protect our environment because if we are protecting our environment, we are protecting ourselves too. 
we are we are uh, keeping that relationship of kindness that nature has uh, with us. So it's important also to say that uh, we just had oh yes we just had a war, so we need to protect this war. People is trying to 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 dream about travel to other uh, planet, but uh, I think that that's not possible for sure because the conditions to be happy, the conditions to be really happy to to have or, or, or to be surrounded in at good conditions, it will be to be here. So we need to be careful about what we are doing with our with our environment. And that's another thing that we have to be really educated people because uh, protecting our environment is for, for educated people, for conscious people, for smart people, so the idea is if you don't if you are not protecting the environment, you are maybe a stupid guy, maybe a stupid girl, because you are not protecting that is yours. Exactly. That that, that is a very important concept. The energy produce production, but the most important is the, the protection of the of what we have. Uh, my dear Oscar, Oscar, yes. I always change the name. Oscar. Uh, one of the polemics that we have in Colombia, because there is a new policy that wants to replace non-renewable sources of energy for renewable sources of energy. And people, for example, Henry says, Henry Castaneda that is here, I'm going to throw him to the lake. Uh, he says that it, it takes too much time and it is very hard to move away from non-renewable sources of energy. Is it possible to change the production of energy we have today, that is uh, oil, uh, gas, and uh, I don't know, those, those, are, those are the principal elements that are causing uh, so many negative effects in the climate. Is it possible to make that radical change or would it take too much time to advance on the production of energy for that? One of the most important strengths of our energy system uh, or energy, electrical energy system is the different uh, technologies, diversified matrix in order to produce and generate energy and power generation is a technical advantage. One of the, well, the most important risk is uh, put our, our, our uh, power generation capacity with only one type of technology is one of the most problem what the, we now um, can see in Germany or in some countries of Europe. Uh, they um, they, um, they realize very important designs and develops in energy, renewable energy. However, due to the, the crisis uh, from war with Ukraine and Russia, uh, your energy stability and energy security and energy um, availability was uh, in the, now is in is risk uh, for for your for Europe. Now is um, is the, the Colombia now is in the correct way in order to replace and in order to diversify the the matrix or existing matrix to power generation sources. However. Uh, it, uh, drastic, it, uh, is, uh, is a risk for the stability of system a diversified matrix of Colombia. Now, uh, in the short project, Colombia uh, expected uh, to increase, the expectation in Colombia is to increase in 30% the capacity of uh, power generation in renewable energies. However, is a challenge in the, in the short time uh, due to the the challenge in infrastructure, uh, substation, transmission, power lines, and the negotiation about the communities and uh, other issues related with uh, with public law and order. Okay, in Colombia, is, is this this aspect is so complex, uh, and now we have some companies uh, have problems with the with the with the projects and the schedules that were the schedule at previous times due to external factors like communities, public and law order, and the 
an absence or no possibility to access our uh, infrastructure like power transmission lines and sort of stations. So, uh, can, we, can we say that uh, if we can, can we say that uh, if we solve the, the technological strategies or process to produce, or, or for example, you get the, 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 the oil and then you get, uh, I don't know what the chemical element is that you degrade the, the oil into different substances, but uh, the way we uh, obtain the subproduct of the oil is the the most dangerous element, not the oil in fact. Is that what you mean? If we had better technological equipment to produce uh, that uh, fuel, uh, we could have less contamination, less pollution, and more um, efficiency in, in in performance. Now, uh, from engineering, we have uh, other complex other complement, complementary process and uh, fuels, like biofuels. Uh, it's in biofuels and ethanol. Ethanol and biofuels is, is a complement for fossil fuels in order to increase the performance and reduce the particulated material. It's an it's opportunity with the, with the agro-industrial complexes in some countries, however, in Colombia, uh, have uh, two or three industrial complex uh, to produce ethanol and produce uh, biofuels is a, is a very interesting, interesting opportunity from increase uh, the capacity of fuels and improve the quality of fuels and uh, to develop the agro-industrial process in Colombia is a, is a great opportunity. This is on, one of the, of the most alternative uh, to, to reduce the chemicals. Uh, from engineering and, and power refining and in order to to um, take advantage of technical capacities installed in the power and refineries in Colombia is uh, the improvements to its process and efficiency in process and the impro improvement in the mixes or blendings for refined products in Colombia. Uh, technical, uh, one, one of the technical solution is the improvement of energy and the uh, and, uh, technology investments to develop this process. Uh, due to are, are expensive. Excellent. So pay attention. If we have a better uh, strategies to produce energy, cleaner forms, uh, mm, we have a better infrastructure, yeah, and uh, we have uh, better engineering, we can produce cleaner uh, sources of energy. And now we have biofuels which apparently pollute less than fossil fuels, right? Now, the, there is a question, people, what do you want to say about that? Natalia, Celia Madrid, welcome. Celia Madrid, where are you from? Natalia, where are you from? What was your opinion? What about Edson Johan Trujillo, who is online? Uh, Jose, Bisset, I don't know uh, if we can find uh, many other people because this doesn't move uh, well in here. Renato, Jerónimo, Lisette, what do you say? Henry, Henry. Henry is a, a student from engineering and now he's going to speak about his point. Henry, we listen to you. Okay, uh, good afternoon. Uh, I wanted to, to, uh, to say that it's not all, only uh, create new ways or generate more, more energy, but to use it more efficiently. That's why... Uh, uh, we should talk about, for example, the uh, uh, electric transport or or new types like uh, uh, ways to to improve our consume. For example, uh, if people don't use the uh, uh, this personal car, a lot of people have personal car, but they travel alone, so that's uh, more co more comfortable. But it means that for, for people you need for cars and they will uh, consume a lot of energy, for example. So there are so we could use like great and and I don't know what like organization, like an app. Like I think that's something that is is being tried in the world. Like for example, to share your car. 
So with that, you will you will uh, save some energy. And uh, also wanted to talk about the uh, the fact that uh, uh, renewable energies, for example, solar uh, eolic energy, wind power, and also hydropower, have a problem is that they need a lot of of minery. You need a lot of, of of metals, for example. So it, it means that when you when you try to uh, to implement this these alternatives, you will also have to to see where you are going to get these materials. Uh, so that's why I I like to think more uh, more of saving energy and not only generating more. That's that's why we should we should take care of like like with the consume. Look at how much are we consuming and if it is needed. One of the elements that is uh, negative, one of the elements that is so um, negative uh, for some people, speaking about the biofuels, uh, although before I continue, of course, Henry, I really appreciate your participation because that is a very good point. If we use it efficiently, we don't discard uh, good material or we can save material for the future, you see? Uh, fossil fuels, fuels, or we don't have to extract more. That is one of the concepts, because uh, in here, there are two elements to place on the table. One solution to use it efficiently is to reduce the speed of our lives, to reduce uh, this, uh, a crazy uh, lifestyle to a more control, less distances, uh, less time displacing uh, from one place to the other. Uh, some people say that the internet is not a real solution because uh, when we, we are connected, we are using too much energy. And when we are saving information, we are also using much energy. So the idea is as well to, to work it efficiently is to use it and discard it. Because the more you save information, the more energy it will demand. And so the, the idea uh, that people have is that if we want to save energy and we want to be efficient and reduce the consumption of fossil fuels, so we have to change the lifestyle to live a slow lifestyle to reduce distances and to move less practically uh, uh, and practically not to exchange, for example, reducing the, the time of travel and reducing flights, for example. If you have a meeting, uh, try to have the meetings on a row and not having many meetings in, in a year. So you don't have to use the airplanes more frequently because even though we, we, we don't think so, well, well, apparently because we don't know much about that, uh, planes are uh, awfully pollutants. So what do you say about that? Should we change the lifestyle? People, about this topic, I would like to talk about the problem noise, the energy, renewable energy or non renewable energy, because the problem. <laughs> <laughs> we are the problem. <laughs> the problem with the uh, cost, uh, energy cost. You know that I I mean like if we uh, still um, uh, buy like this moment or buy now is more like consuming. I don't know. 
<laughs> and some some things um we are lost and and that's it sorry and uh, reformulate us, please. Victor, what do you say? And uh, Jose, what do you say about that? All about that. Okay, uh, hello, uh, I'm Jose. And what I think about the topic is that Yes, it's not at all necessary to change all of life in a drastic way. What I mean is that uh, we need to get conscious about how much we waste the energy day by day and try to find ways in order to reduce the pollution and the contamination. For example, in our house, I mean that it is a place where we have more of those times and we waste all um, more energy there. For example, uh, lighting out the, the light, uh, using less the uh, computer when it's not necessary and things like that. For example, Martin says another example that is a uh, car uh, pardoning. He, he is uh, sharing our car fees or our traveling with a partner or with a other person in order to reduce our contamination. And more else is that the most drastic solution and the most that we could do in order to solution and in order to reduce our uh, carbon footprint is that being conscious about how much we waste and how we use the energy that we could get us to. So. Well, excellent. Again, this is a, a call to be more conscious on the effect of the use of known fossil fuels and how we can find strategies to, to use it efficiently. For the engineers, this is a, a good question. Do you think humans would have advanced as, as much if we had not discovered uh, petrol, if we hadn't had the fossil fuels? I mean, if we, because the humans before the fossil fuels, well, didn't have uh, engines, didn't have uh, fast production. Apparently, the lifestyle was slow, but would it be possible to replace the fossil fuels and produce cleaner energy and meet progress as fast as we do with it? It's, it's, a, it's a very important question. Due to we have some technical and human geopolitical and uh, human issues and Anthropological issues uh, must be analyzed to, to, to answer. It's a, it's a question to become very important. One, one of the one of the most important is the concept of energy. In in the world, in the universe, we are all energy. Human humans are energy. We are a thermal machine. Uh, environment is energy direct or potential, all in the environment and the universe is energy. We are the result of many, many years of energy. The, uh, actually, the, the, the consumption habits of the, of the people in the world uh, uh, make me so difficult in the transition. However, however, it's possible. It's possible, however, we must to be conscient or we must to be aware of the interaction of different energy sources for a sustainable long term sustainable transition the 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 change no is today one 
uh, energy source, tomorrow other. These, these uh, changes take time, take development of the engineering, development in government, in laws, in the technology and a uh, technical process. Other, other uh, issue, other, other issue to analyze is the migration or massive migration to new ways, way to generate energy, carry on the development of mining sector. The new, the new technologies demand high quantities of minerals. What means that? The new technologies requires for the new process and the new development high quantities of materials. These materials get or obtain it for technical or industrial process from mining, from exploring, for exploration, production, and refining. The process is similar like the petrol or oil and gas industry is similar. Is the importance to get or to maintain the, the, the balance in the different technicals or the different type of process is possible and the challenge in the, for, for the next year is to increase the installed capacity to produce and storage energy with sustainable sources. This is the, the short, this is the, the first stage, as is the, the all, all the countries and economies of, of, in, the, in the global, in the, glo in the world, uh, must be focused in order to increase the participation of sustainable energies, sustainable technologies, and the most important uh, uh, process to take advantage of renewable energy, that is energy storage. Energy storage is other important alternative to be or to do sustainable, the model for energy transition in the most years. Excellent. This is a fantastic point of view that um, is positive. It uh, makes us uh, uh, think that it's uh, really probable to move away from uh, fossil fuels, non-renewable sources of energy, something that uh, many people think is impossible. In Colombia, many people say that they, we move away from uh, the exploration of petrol and the use of uh, uh, gas, for example, we are going to collapse economically speaking. But what you say, we need more research, we need more um, techniques and more engineering uh, at work in order to find the uh, different processes. Henry, what do you, why, why do you say it, 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 it is related to the market? Why do you say so? Uh, I wanted to say that it depends on the market how fast we can uh, like improve without uh, renewable, uh, with no renewable energies. Because what happened that, for example, let's take uh, a look at the uh, car industry. The, the, because we are having, we have been using this non renewable source of energy, petrol, uh, gas, uh, gas uh, coal. The, it has a lot of uh, research. So the, the traditional cars have a lot of improvements because we, that's what we have been using a lot of time. So it has a lot of investment. It means that, for example, the electric car, uh, electric car transport has a, a lot of issues with, for example, storage. Uh, so we depend the, that the, with investment, it get better uh, economically talking because you will consume less uh, when you use your car both to 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 make to to construct the 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 batteries you consume a lot of energy and you need a lot of, of materials and this is something that happened in a lot of industries that it depends uh, how much how developed is the uh, how would you say the technologies how much they, they, they cost. Because for example, by the bio, the, the bio, bio we're talking about, the biofuels, they have uh, the advantage that we can, of course, we can get a lot of them, but you, but how much does it cost? And for example, 
you have to decide if you want to produce biofuel or food, because almost all the time you use the same, uh, the same materials of the same, let's say, let's say processes. So economically talking, what is better? And also uh, about the food, what is it more important to, to have more to have food to, of course, feed people or have biofuel? Uh, and I don't think in the past we could have uh, improved as fast as we did without the renewable energy because it had a lot of advantages. That's why we have to we have to at least at the moment we have to keep using it because how can you replace uh, oil, coal, gas when the renewable sources are like non-stable? For example, the sun you can have sun all day. You can guarantee that we have enough wind. So we need like uh, a lot of them at the same time. It's not it's not uh, like like forgetting the 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 non renewable energy, but using them better. That's what I think. Man, fantastic points of view because in here we have two excellent uh, elements to analyze first. When we produce uh, the cleaner sources of energy, anyhow, we pollute because we have to go mining. And mining has an effect on land and territory as well. And maybe it pollutes more the, the water sources uh, for the people. Second, the economy, what you said, if the production is not, uh, a, I mean, it's not huge, it's not big, so the prices go down. So every every single um, car or appliance will be uh, at a high cost. And so the price is going to be so high. So it is uh, very wise to combine non-renewable, renewable sources. And there is another element that you mentioned, and this is, Re uh, renewable sources are not constant. So they don't guarantee a constant flow of energy. Well, uh, now I, I want to ask you a question. Do you know any other source that, or, or could we think about any other source that uh, would help us uh, use energy more efficiently? Uh, Oscar is going to speak, yeah? And here, who is, yeah, Oscar, you're going to speak, yeah? Because uh, let, let's, let's see if people are willing to participate. Lisette, Natalia, Celia Madrid, eh, Vico, Angela Alzate, Renato, Andres eh, disappeared. Eh, uh, Angela, what do you think about all of this? What's your opinion? What uh, is your reaction? Angela Alzate. Hello, teacher. Hello. This, uh, I am Lisette. This topic is difficult for me uh, because it's a What do you study, Lisette? Or what do you work on? Uh, teacher, I, I am a teacher uh, in physical education. <laughs> of <Fantastic>. physical education. <laughs> well, in I, fact, I am... I, I am listening... I am listening uh, to my my classmate because is is an interesting topic and I am learning new new words um, uh, and and the context of the of this topic. I I I, I am to hear teacher. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. That is the idea. We get exposed to the language, we learn, and we put it into practice. But Lisa, there is one very particular thing now that you are a physical education uh, teacher. Uh, physics works for energy. Uh, if you say people run, they, they, I, I, know, I don't know if you saw a man that uh, riding on a bicycle produces the energy uh, to lit a lamp or to warm the house. So. Maybe it is not uh, a huge source of energy, but enough for the service he needs. 
Excellent, Lisette. Um, so tell us more. Tell us more, Lisette. A teacher, um, um, in this in this topic, um, uh, I think that um, around the the sports, uh, we can promote um, uh, the the uh, cute cuidar teacher. Uh, how do you say cuidar cute? To take care, uh, to take care, take care. The, the the energy. Um, in in the the file, different file of, of, of where uh, we practice the different activities. Um, uh, promote we uh, we promote uh, the um, the conserve the the environment the environment and. Um, and we uh, try <laughs> um, uh, to care the, the 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 energy, the resources, uh, specifically uh, re renewables uh, really? uh, in different activities. Um, uh, for example, in and the the world games or Olympic games. Uh, is a topic important uh, because the people produce um, um, many, many, many garbage teacher garbage, and and uh, we are invited to uh, to care the 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 health. I don't teach. <laughs> Thank yes. you, Jeff. Fantastic, wonderful. That's the idea to participate and interact and tell uh, your opinion about this. Vico, Renato, Angel Alzate. Hi. Uh, hello, Vico. I would like to say something that is maybe something that I ask myself during this conversation because I know that uh, we have a lot of problems that are related to technical issues. I know that, but uh, I'm sure that, that we can have different changes in the world if, if we can start thinking of something that is related, for example, to education and speak with people. May, may, may people feel that it's important to do this, this, this improvement in our environment. Because uh, I know that uh, we had a lot of problems around this problem, a problem around this uh, huge problem, but uh, I think that is important. Our sensitivity, uh, try to make feel, uh, try to try to make people feel around this topic that is our responsibility. Because when we are thinking about our this few problem, maybe we are thinking about oil, coal, gas, another kind of or issues that are that are around this specific topic. But uh, it's important also that uh, people can understand from the sensibility that it's important to protect our environment. That it's important that those other animals had a, a, a shelter. It, that it's important that we can, we can observe, we can watch, we can surprise, surprise us again with our environment, with our nature, with a clean sky, with clean water, a high different supplies for our, for our for our lives in this plan. I have to insist that uh, maybe we have the conditions that uh, we need to live in this planet. We are traveling, we are dreaming of traveling uh, to another planet, but uh, we don't have those conditions secure because maybe the, the amazing thing about this planet is that uh, we have the specific conditions to live. So we have to protect those conditions. We have to to educate people, to speak, to read, uh, to sensibilize, e e if I can use that word, I don't know if, I do, if, if that word exists, but I'm gonna Thank use you. that word, sensibilize, okay. sensibilize people around those topics. Because I'm sure that uh, every single person on this planet has, has a skin, has nerves, has neurons, has, has a heart, has, has a brain. So, so it's important to use our body to feel, to feel that is important. To feel that is important to to advocate for this for this 
reason. I don't know. All the time I ask me something that is important also to say that is maybe we are destructing, maybe we are damaging our environment because we can feel envy about our environment. Because if you look at the sky, if you look at our environment, if you look the rivers, the birds in the nature, if you experience a, a walk inside the forest, you can experience so, something magnificent, uh, amazing, beautiful, astonishing, wonderful. So, so why, why we are destructing something that is magnificent, something that is uh, beyond our senses? I'm sure that every single person has experienced something amazing about our environment. So it's important, it's important to remember that feeling, to remember that sensations, that memory, and say, hey, hello, we have to protect this, is that, 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 is, that is amazing. And try to recognize if we are destructing, we, are, we, can, we can feel envy about our, uh, our environment because I, I think that uh, we are destructing, we are damaged in our environment because we are telling us all the time, oh, the river is beautiful. Uh, it's water is super clean. The, the tree is really tall, it's amazing. Why don't we destroy this that is amazing? I think that uh, one of the reasons we are damaging our environment is because we are envious about our environment. We have to recognize that and try to protect that that is amazing, that that I have to insist is beyond our senses because everywhere in our universe, you are not gonna find a planet has this. At least we don't have right now a planet has this, so, uh, or like this. So it's important to recognize that this is amazing planet and try to protect our, our planet for, for the best, for the, for the benefit or ourselves. Rico, you've said very important words and very sensible elements. And it is incredible that uh, apparently we are not aware of the importance of what's surrounding us. Because we, we say, well, in here in Rio Negro, for example, we need housing. And all the soil that uh, is used for building new houses or new apartments uh, is People say that it's class A for the production of food, but uh, we need houses. So, and, and this is causing the destruction of a good piece of territory for food production. And in many cases, look at the, the dams, which are important to produce energy, but they affect the ecosystem and they affect uh, the, the environment. So apparently every single thing we do has a negative side effect, right? So we, uh, I, I don't know if we can avoid that. I mean, every single step a human gives forward makes a transformation that generally is not very positive in, 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 in life, in the reality of people, right? So that, that is uh, so negative. There is another element that is important to consider. It is that the non-renewable energy is always considered pollution, destructive, mm, dangerous. But tell me, charcoal, who doesn't use charcoal for a barbecue? So it has a positive side effect or a good use. Uh, the oil the we extract from the petroleum, the tar, to pave the streets. So if we don't have petroleum, we don't pave the streets. If we don't have petroleum, we don't have chairs. Look at those chairs in here, you see, demand the use of, of petrol. Yeah, the transformation of this substance to have something to have a good lifestyle. The cars, if we don't have the cars, yeah, uh, the, the tires, the engine, all the transformation demands 
a negative impact on nature or not? Well, Oscar wants to say something, yeah? Other, other point of view to, to analyze is uh, only in, in all different scenarios, uh, the, the discussion about the, the real impact of technologies of energy uh, is reduced to emissions. However, we, we need to analyze uh, of a holistic uh, way uh, all, the, all the, the issues. Uh, one of the, of the most important is a, a final, uh, final disposal of waste material of the new technologies, old, ancient, or new technologies. Actually, uh, some, some uh, ecological or environmental uh, committees around the world, principally in Europe, in countries like Germany or Holland, lead his hand about the, the, the absence of politics or legislation laws uh, according with the final disposal of some element of the new energies and the new element uh, used to produce uh, clean energy. You know, it's one of the most important uh, issues to analyze. Now in the world, uh, we don't have technical process to produce and to uh, treat on the or treat the, the waste material of, uh, of the material in the final of his life cycle cost. It's one of the most, uh, one of the most important issue to analyze. Other is uh, any type of construction and development in any technology, fossil fuels or non-fossil fuels or renewable is the ecosystem fractionation. Ecosystem fractionation is the, the, the environmental impact any and all type of technology have an impact and must be analyzed, uh, analyzed detailed, detailed analysis is necessary for the technology. In the sea, in the northern, in the north of Europe, in the, in the North Sea, one of the most behaviors of the of the birds was a uh, flying flying flu flying and uh, migratory species is a uh, they look the horizon. Uh, this horizon uh, in an is a due to the under frequency noise produced for wind wind, wind wind for why the meals, why the turbines is, is, is on, on time to analyze. Other type is the technical uh, elements or, or consumables necessary to safety operation of these assets, like uh, SE6, hexafluoruro azufre, lo digo en español. Hexafluoruro uh, azufre, sulfur hexafluor is one of the most contaminated gas and is used in electrical equipment in order to preserve and assure the safety operation of this asset. And that's one of the most preoccupations is the increasing of the fugitive emissions of ESF6 in Europe. This is 25,000 uh, more times contaminating what CO2 is, is one of the most important preoccupations of the new technology. So you say that CO2 less impacting the floor gas. Exactly. It's, it's one of the most productive. And that is, is, is necessary to integral analysis of our technologies for, for, for only one, one example. And other uh, emissions is, is, um, is one of the most important to analyze. And some countries, uh, producers of new technologies, his uh, delivering is, is, is delivering the low panel or low efficiency panel was delivered to to countries in development in in, uh, in uh, development the developing countries many technologies of of, of obsolescent technologies uh, panels was delivered actually for some countries or used panels 
it was delivered to countries, uh, to the development countries of the of um, emerging economies, with the objective to initially to reduce or, or or renewable energy. However, in the short time, the final disposal of this element is a serious problem for these countries. In any in any place of the world, uh, these are the laws are not uh, a strength was not uh, analyzed and some risks that need to be uh, reviewed in an integral and holistic uh, in a holistic document some studies in some universities in europe in europe is uh, is, uh, is checking this this point of view um, very important from environmental uh, analysis <laughs> I, I want to make a summary about this in order to, to clarify if people, Lise, Renato, Angela, and the rest uh, want to say something or make a reaction. Jose is going to speak in a second. Uh, I am surprised because we are so worried about CO2, but there is another gas, fluor gas, which is 20 times more pollutant. 2,500, 2,500 times more pollutant than CO2. And uh, nobody has paid attention to that. The other element that uh, it is uh, important to remember is that uh, developed countries send non-developed countries as ours, the appliances which are discardable, the, the the, that is, uh, what was the term you used? That uh, low, efficiency. Low, low efficiency panels, and that the the, the period of time they last is uh, determined. Yeah, short, the, the, the the exactly. So the the material that we use in non-developed countries is a program. To last shorter, so we have to spend more money. They are not thinking about the. Well, yesterday, the the president of Colombia was criticized because he said that the United States thinks about the United States, but not about the world. But it's very similar to what we are saying here. The developed countries think about their economy, and they say, "Let's send uh, the, these appliances that will last one year. They will buy another." And another, and the economy for them is good, but the impact for the economy for uh, the nature is uh, horrible, and uh, uh, the disposal of these uh, non uh, what is this uh, program that is uh, what is the what is the name uh, the, the uh, efficiency program. Uh, what is the name of this? Uh, Chore efficiency program. So what is the name? Mm -hmm. That the 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 program the the um, I I cannot uh, obsolences. Yeah, then the obsolences is program. The program obsolences uh, guarantees that people have to consume more, spend more. But the point is, where are we? deposit, where, where are we going to deposit all these appliances? Well, Jose wants to speak, and I noticed that in here, Edson Johan Trujillo says, I don't have shared my opinion, belong, which is similar to other people. Well, I have the same opinion to other people. Well, uh, Vico, Lisette, uh, Renato, Angela, uh, Jeronimo is still in here. Uh, he, well, Cecilia and Natalia, after Jose, Please tell us your opinion. Well, uh, my opinion is more likely to refer about the last intervention that Vico says and the force that Martin and Oscar say. It's the fact that uh, what are we buying or how we are managing our resources. Um, for example, a uh, if we buy a laptop, how we approve, uh, take advantage of it? If we buy a cell phone, how we take advantage of it? 
because if we buy things in just for one moment or just for one year or just for a pleasure or things like that, they will be increase the disposal and the garbage in the world. And in more garbage, garbage that we have in the world, more contamination that we gather. And maybe today we can go to the park or go to a um, forest and enjoy the nature. But in the next generation of the next people that will live in this world, they couldn't see or they couldn't live that part of the life because maybe the um, contamination is too growing now or there is more houses in the area. For example, something that Martin said is that the over housing or the buildings that some cities, for example, such as Rio Negro or the Carmen Hat, that many of the green areas of the places that are used to, to use for growing farms and things like that, they aren't replaced by housing or by buildings. And the most funny thing is that uh, most of the neighborhoods are called like uh, Montaña Verde, Prado Verde, uh, El Bosque and things like that. But if you see those buildings, there isn't any tree, there is few flowers, there is few nature in those places. So that is a controversy. We make more houses, but we destroy the nature and we call it the neighborhood and nature place. That is yeah. total ironic, fantastic reflection because you see, we always pretend that we are doing something in benefit of the nature and we sell uh, the concept of green that we are affecting, we are affecting awfully badly the nature and our world. So, Vico, Henry Castañeda, Lisa Tatiana, Angel Alzate says, the topic was very interesting. It was something new for me because I had no knowledge about it. Thank you, Angela. Uh, what was, Angela, do you have any idea about uh, how we can be more respectful with the environment? Uh, how can we produce less pollutant uh, energy? Do you have any idea? Would you think about any probable solution? Celia Madrid, we want to listen to you. Natalia, well, Celia Madrid disappeared in a second. I wanted to listen to her. Natalia, what do you say? Natalia. Henry, what do you have to say? Henry, Castañeda, Vico, he said. Hi. Hello, for Michele. example, For example, we can be less arrogant. We can be a more generous with our planet. For example, we can start teaching our children to respect our environment. There are a lot of things that uh, we can do. For example, we can protect our, our natural spaces, our green spaces around the world. For example, we can be really responsible about what, thing, what things are we buying. Or yes, what things are we, are we buying, buying, sorry. Uh, we can we can learn from from people that has uh, people that has you know, people that had a lot of knowledge about a uh, protecting environment we can for example create or, or or start using renewable energy it's, uh, it's really important we can be really really conscious about the the beauty about our planet that's another another great reason to, to protect our environment. Uh, to be more respectful about our planet, we can, for example, consume less uh, things that are, are not necessary. For sure, every single, every single, uh, every single person in, in this planet has something that uh, is not necessary to buy. So, so it's important to, to be more conscious about what things are you buying. That's another uh, good action to, to, to protect our environment. We can, for example, 
reuse, reuse is important, reuse things, reuse, reutilize things. Uh, I don't know, there are a lot of things that we can do for sure in, 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 the, in the comfort ball on, on our home and outside in any space, we can do something to protect our environment for sure. That uh, every single time we have a solution or a, an action, a, a good action in order to, to plan it. Excellent. Fantastic points of view. Recycling, reusing, uh, being aware that, that we don't have to uh, overuse or, well, uh, go spend in excess. People, uh, there are different forms I discovered this week to produce new energy. In uh, Economy World uh, uh, Organization, I found that this week a guy from uh, Nepal was given an hour because he discovered, well, a strategy to produce energy just out of the steps. So, and you say, how? Yeah, there are sensors placed under the sidewalk. So, as many people move all along the sidewalk, those steps. So can you imagine the place in Rio Negro where most people walk, uh, that is the, the, the cathedral or the Rio Negro city hall in Medellin, all along La Playa. Uh, can you imagine under the pavement, uh, place these sensors and as long as there are many people walking up and down, uh, these steps and this pressure on, on the tiles of cement or the pavement will produce energy. So it is another form that we never imagined, but this guy uh, was very creative and came out with that idea. What if we place sensors under the pavement or the cement on the streets and uh, where there are many people walking up and down all day long, we are going to collect from those steps energy. Wow, fantastic. I think it's a crazy idea, but uh, if it works, it would be something that is going to modify and change the world. Do you have any other, uh, do you have any other uh, idea on what we can do? Henry, how can the university, now that you are back, how can the university help transforming the non-renewable sources for renewable sources? What's the university doing for that change, Henry? Well, one, one change is research. For example, with the groups like Helios, with the type of research we can uh, see where where we can use renewable energy and of course like changing the mentality of the, of the people we i don't know we think like this but in this moment uh, we can change the, the how the how the people see uh, see the this topic because for example uh, there are a lot of people that who can uh, who for, for example can change uh, the their car or an electrical one, for, uh, for example, or when you live too far away in a farm, you can uh, have, for example, solar panels or something like that. And of course you need, what you need is not, but you, you need to know that this, that the alternative exists. So it's also a lot about mentality to the people. Excellent, changing the mentality is very necessary and the impact will be, I think, huge. The other element is investigation. Yeah, uh, this guy, oh, fantastic. This guy, this guy, sorry, I told you about from Nepal, is not in the university, he's in high school. So, in many cases, we say, I have to wait for my university degree. 
Other people say for my master's degree. Other people say for my PhD degree. But this guy is in high school and he came up with that uh, transforming idea of our reality. Uh, there is another one I saw, and this is in the sea side, in the, the, the coast of the, uh, I think it's on, on, in Norway. They placed a platform and the tides are high. So the tides move up and down, one meter, two meters up. And the tides, in the, uh, as long as they um, create waves, these waves are transformed into energy. That is another form to produce energy, apparently not polluting, apparently not affecting the, the earth, not affecting the ecosystem. The point is that, for sure, every single human act transforms. Somehow positively, but in, in a great deal negatively as well. People, uh, I have shared with you the link to evaluate the conversation. I am sorry we had many technical problems at the beginning. So we began 20 minutes after, but I think, uh, and many people, we can observe at the same time that this topic is a topic for our lives. It's a topic that every, every single person says is interesting. And every single person say, well, we have to depend uh, non-renewable energies because they have given us progress, economy, uh, money, uh, comfort. But when we start talking about this, many people feel like, oh, I, I don't know. Uh, it's interesting, but I, I, I don't want to make any change. Uh, it's interesting, but I don't want to risk my opinion. I have spoken. Today, I have distributed the invitation to more than 50 people and look at that uh, the students from the university and the campus didn't join even people from uh, biology and uh, agricultural engineering which are minded on e ecology but this is it we have enjoyed the conversation oscar i really appreciate uh, your participation your illustration henry as well with the participation from the University of Antioquia. Vico, fantastic interaction, very sensible, very uh, calling to awareness. Jose, uh, fantastic uh, collecting information, helping here with the technical issues. He's the camera, microphone, computer man. Uh, Edson, thanks for attending. Angela, I hope you had enjoyed and you had learned. Natalia, same here. Uh, and uh, uh, the rest of the people vanished. I really appreciate it. And thanks for uh, attending and participating and uh, paying attention to all the information we have shared in here. Edson, it was nice to have you here. Uh, what a wonderful conversation. Thank you. Thanks, Angela. Any opinion about this space? Any opinion about this? Do you like it? Did you enjoy it, Angela? Tell us. How do you feel, Natalia? How do you feel? Before we say goodbye, Natalia and Angela, what do you say? How do you feel, Vico? How do you feel? Thank you for the invitation. It was a great conversation too, because it is an essential topic to discuss, and I hope that uh, we can discuss more about this topic. I hope that uh, this topic is discussed in every single space that we have in this beautiful land that is Colombia and that is beautiful. That I agree with our you. planning for them to discuss all the time. And remember, we have we have a talk pendant about the radio program. Do you solve the questions? Are you still having the the, the, the radio program on, on air? If you need any help, just let me know. And uh, uh, Oscar, what do you say? Just to say goodbye. Thank, thanks a lot for, for all. Thank you. Thanks for for inviting me. I'm a, I am available to, uh, to participate in, in, this, in this conversation. It's very interesting for us. It's very interesting to, to analyze the, the energy context. And uh, not only local context, is the energy is, is global and requires professionals or people 
interested to check and review and to know and take a, a technical, critical, and objective and an object, object, objective position about the energy topic. Thanks a lot. If you have, if any of our participant of this meeting of this conversation uh, want to, to want to to know more or why or, or create or or solve some increased questions additionally, I will be I will be available. No problem. I'm, I'm kind of regal and thanks thanks uh, a lot for all. I wanted to say thanks. It is a pretty interesting conversation, and I'm glad that this is a conversation that is being done in the university. And yes, we can practice a lot of, of English in this case. Thank you, Henry. Yes, and as we, as we practice English, we are also a practice about our planet. We are practicing. A great conversation about how to be aware about what happened in our daily lives and also what happened in the world. And also, as I write it, this kind of conversation are very important because this kind of interactions build our our posture about the problems and about the circumstances that are in our lives. And also, as the Martin expressed. Some time ago, uh, all the changes and all the decisions that we make in our life has an, an impact. But it's our position and our decision that may if that impact is good or bad for the planet and for the environment and also for us. Thank you. Angela says in here, I feel very good. Uh, and the topic was very interesting. Thank you very much for your time, teacher. Uh, thanks for your participation, Angela, and being here. Remember that there is a poll, uh, fill it in, and you will receive information uh, related to next uh, activities. Uh, Lisa Tatiana says, thanks, teacher. Excellent topic and excellent your methodology. Thank you. In fact, in here today, we had to uh, improvise and uh, be very creative getting the connection because we wanted to do something different. I invited students because the idea was to have students in this room and uh, uh, you online and have that interaction between the people that, uh, well, fortunately you are here. Angela says, I think my microphone is back because uh, it's Chico. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Natalia, Jose, Edson, Henry. Goodbye, Henry. Get well soon, and I hope to see you uh, back again here in the university. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you, Jose. Bye bye. Thank you, Renato. Thank you. Thank you, see.